hello my dear students in this video now we are going to study about the potentiometric titrations the titrations in which emm of the cell is used to decide the end point are known as the potentiometric titrations these titrations are designed on the basis of the nernst equation we know very well that nernst equation says that the emm of this cell or emm of the electrode depends on the concentration of the ions in which the electrodes are kept and these are the equations related to the nernst equation and potentiometric titrations are of three types one of them is the acid base titrations and the second one of them is the redox titrations or the oxidation and reduction titrations and the third one is the precipitation titrations first of all we will discuss about the acid base titrations in these acid base titrations cell is constructed by using the hydrogen electrode and the calcium electrode hydrogen electrode is kept in the acid solution whose concentration is to be decided and the calcium electrode is kept in the solution uh, sorry in the saturated ksl solution these two are connected by a potentiometer and the salt bit the problem problem acid solution is titrated against the base okay and uh, as we add the base the concentration of the h plus ion decreases and the e nernst equation for this type of cell can be written like this e cell is equal to e cathode minus e anode and here in this reactions calcium electrode act as the cathode and the hydrogen electrode act as the anode so here the calcium uh, potential of the calcium electrode and the potential of the hydrogen electrode and we know very well that the standard pot <coughs> potential of the standard calcium electrode is 0.2422 and the reduction potential of the hydrogen electrode depends on the concentration of the h plus ions and that can be written like this so that means uh, we know very well that uh, concentration decides the ph so on the whole the <coughs> electrode potential of the hydrogen electrode can be written like this so this is the hydrogen electrode potential and uh, here this one depends on the ph so if we club this equation 1 and 2 we get the equation 3 that is the uh, potential of the cell so here e cell is equal to the 0.2422 plus 0.0591 ph so as we go on adding the base the number of the h plus ion goes on decreasing and the number of the o h minus ion goes on increasing that means uh, as we go on adding the base the ph gradually increases so as the ph increases em of the cell also increases so in this case we get this type of graph e cell and the volume of base so as we go on adding what uh, what is that base the concentration of h plus ion decreases that means ph increases as a result emf of increases and the at the end point we observe a sharp increase in the emf that is the voltage of the cell and after the end point again we observe a gradual increase in the potential so to know the exact end point we may take the first differentiation graph like this so in in this one de by dv and uh, is the here on the x axis we take the volume of base this is known as the first order differentiation curve and to know more accurate end point we may take the double differentiation equation also so that can be written like this look here d x square by d v square uh, against volume of base so this is known as a double differentiation graph we did discuss about the redox titrations redox titrations is very well explained by taking the redox reaction between the ferrous ion and the ceric ions so when ceric ions are added to the ferrous ions uh, ceric ion oxidizes ferrous ions with the ferric ions and itself uh, reduces to the uh, <coughs> serous ion that is ce plus 3 ion and here calcium electrode is used as the standard electrode and uh, it is connected to the platinum electrode platinum electrode is a neutral electrode this platinum electrode is kept in the ferrous ion solution before addition of the ceric ions here in this uh, solution we are having the only ferrous ion so as we uh, go on adding the ceric ions 
gradually the ferric ferrous ions will be oxidized to the ferric ions and here this platinum electrode converts into the uh, what is that uh, iron electrode so in that case that means before the end point uh, the cell uh, what is it equation for the nearest equation for the cell can be written like this that is e is equal to the standard reduction potential of the iron electrode minus 0.051 0.0591 into log of reduced form that means ferrous ions by the ferric ions concentration minus E calum electrode. So, this type of equation we can write to calculate the EMF of the <coughs> cell before the end point. And after the end point, what happens? Uh, <coughs> here, all the ferrous ions are converted into the ferric ions, and uh, there is no ferrous ions to react with the ferric ions. So after the end point in this solution, uh, in this uh, beaker or uh, vessel, we have only ceric ions. So after the end point, uh, we can write the equation to calculate the EMF of the cell like this. So here after the end point, we have this type of equation. That is E is equal to the 1.61 plus 0 0.0591 into log of ceric ion concentration by serous ion concentration minus 0 0.2422. Before the end point, what happens? As we go on adding the ceric ions, the concentration of the ferric ions goes on uh, increasing. So, as a result, what happens? EMF of EMF of the cell, that means potential of the cell, gradually increases. After the end point, also uh, concentration of the ceric ion increases. So, after the end point, also we observe a gradual increase in the EMF of the cell. And at the end point, we observe a sudden increase. Before the end point, as well as the after the end point, also the <coughs> EMF of the cell increases due to the increase in the concentration of the ferric ions as well as in the concentration of the ceric ions, so that we get this type of graph. At the end point, uh, the EMF of the, this cell is like this: the uh, zero point two nine four seven eight volt. Now we discuss about the precipitation titration. Precipitation titration is very well explained. By taking the reaction between the silver ions and the chlorine ions. In this reaction, calum electrode is used as the standard electrode and it is connected to the silver electrode via a potentiometer and a salt bridge like this. Okay, na? Here the con <coughs> silver ions are reacted with the KCL solution taken in the burette. So as we go on adding the KCL solution. What is that? Chloride ions from the KCL react with the silver ions are present in this vessel and form silver chloride precipitate. And uh, <coughs> the next equation for the cell electrode can be written like this. Okay, na? So, here, uh, what is that? <coughs> EMF of the electrode, silver electrode, depends on the concentration of the Ag plus ions. So, as we go on adding the chloride ions, what happens? The concentration of Ag plus ions decreases. That means EMF of the cell, EMF of the silver electrode decreases and the emf of the cell this overall cell can be written like this e cell is equal to e cathode minus e anode so in this reaction uh, calum electrode act as the sorry silver electrode act as the cathode and calum electrode act as the anode so we can write like this but here as the as we go on adding the chloride ions the what is that potential of the that means emf of the silver electrode is decreasing so as a result the emf of the overall cell is also decreasing so as you go on increasing the adding the uh, what is that chloride ions here yeah, this is chloride ions so as we go on adding the chloride ions what is that the emf of the cell goes on decreasing